I am going to make a bed for an 18 inch doll using the doll's box. Scrapbook paper, cardboard, and glue. And the fun part about this project is that we are going to build the frame of the bed around the box so that the box is not damaged or altered. I start by measuring the cardboard to the box. I cut four long strips, glue two together, cover with paper to make the side rails. Then I measure a piece of cardboard to the height of a doll and a little wider than the width of the box. Cut it out to make a long rectangle. Repeat to make two, then cut two more with the same width, only shorter. For the bottom of the bed, glue the long rectangles together, then the shorter ones. Cover them with paper to make a basic headboard and footboard. But let's take it a step further. Cut thin strips of cardboard, cover with paper, we glued three across the footboard and one along the top to add some architectural detail. Cut and cover a few more pieces of cardboard. Begin gluing them to the top of the headboard to make an overhead storage unit. I glue two thin strips underneath that will stop at the top of the box. I glue another piece of cardboard underneath, then two small triangles underneath for support. Place the headboard at the top of the box. Make a mark for the side rail, connecting the headboard to the footboard. And now the bed frame can be placed over the doll's box, allowing the box to support the weight of the doll. However, we don't want our doll's bed to look like a box, so let's make some bedding. Measure and cut a rectangle of fabric to fit over the sides of the box. Fold over and hem the edges, so when it's placed over the box and the bed frame is slid on top, it looks like a mattress and a bed skirt. I can sew a lace ruffle to the bottom to define the bed skirt. To make a simple pillow, I cut a square out of a piece of fabric. Cut a second one to match. Lay them good side to good side. Sew a straight line around the edge, leaving a small opening so it can be flipped inside out. Stuff with fluff and use a needle and thread to close the opening to make a basic pillow. Make long, flat, unstuffed pillows. Glue them to the top of the headboard to make lined curtains. Make a large, unstuffed pillow for a bedspread. Now we can add fun items to the shelving, like a candle from our How to Make a Doll Side Table and Chairs video. Use a dollhouse teapot for a vase of flowers. Add a journal, our Polaroid camera, a stuffed animal, a few pictures, and you're done. Happy crafting! Starting my own business would be so much work. I'm just gonna grab a few hours of sleep before I have to go back. But first, 
we want to give a shout out to Flaming Ice Princess AG. What's up? Good morning! Oh! Looks like I'm your first customer! What's on the menu?